Hello everyone, it's Christina Crafty Paws. I'm here to do a tag video response share for Lydia, who is Kitty Car Create. She's hosting her very first YouTube giveaway challenge. And besides really wanting to support any new YouTube crafter, I also fell in love with the reason for her challenge. She's asking folks to make a minimum of two holiday tags, and all the tags that she collects are going to be distributed to children at a homeless shelter this holiday season. So I've made a bunch of tags, some of which I shared um, on my Curating Christmas video response for Jill Norwood, and I thought I would share with you guys here how I made this little collection of tags. All of these are watercolored with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. All of these tags were made with the Tim Holtz Crazy Birds stamp set and the Tim Holtz Crazy Things stamp set. And in particular, I have the matching dies for both of these sets, which I think are really different from standard dies you know, the coordinating dies with stamps, because these dies cut right along the edge of the stamped images, as opposed to leaving that white little border. So I was not only able to quickly color up all these little birds and the accessories, but also I was able to combine them and add some dimension. So I don't know if you'll be able to see, but these eyes, all the eyes and the beaks and a lot of the wings um, are all die cut a couple of times. So I inked up the whole image, colored it, and then I also cut certain sections like the eyes, for example, like right here, this is a die that has the eyes and a beak. I die cut that out of black cardstock so that I could layer underneath these areas a layer of black cardstock and then actually the image area that I colored as well. So it takes a little bit of extra work and maybe the kids won't even notice, <laughs> but I really wanted to try and make these little tags extra special. So I did that and I did that with the uh, wings, for example, here, um, the eyes and the wings, and I added little accessories like bows. I added some glitter glue to the fuzzy parts of the Santa hats, um, glossy accents on all the eyes and the candy canes. Um, I just had a lot of fun with these images. And like I said, the watercoloring is super fast and easy. I'm sorry I lost the video where I did share a process, but you know, uh, watercoloring on Bristol paper is really easy because it's so easy to blend the colors together. And it's so long as you pick colors that are kind of close in family, like the purple and pinks or the yellow and orange, or you stay totally separate, like in contrasting colors, you know, and you don't try to blend the orange and the green. <laughs> if you just keep contrasting colors or complementary colors separate, otherwise they'll turn brown. But anyway, watercoloring this is super, super easy and fast. And then for the tag bases themselves, after I colored up all these crazy birds, I thought, oh my gosh, these colors that I've chosen to color all these birds, while whimsical, are not going to go with any holiday paper that I have. But I was wrong. I have this snowy day crepe paper stack from a few years ago, and it was absolutely perfect. The colors seem to go really perfectly with these. And so I just hand cut all the tags. I backed each one, um, but basically each six by six cuts out two tags. I could put them back to back. I just used wet glue. And then I inked all the edges hole punched some a uh, hole at the top, added some satin ribbon, some baker's twine and jingle bells. Cause you know, who doesn't like a jingle bell on a tag? <laughs> and then I noticed that all the papers were so busy that I wanted a little bit of kind of visual space to give a little separation between the birds and the background papers. So I took my Prima, pineapple doily dye and I use some shimmers paper scraps in ivory and pale pink and I just die cut all of those out. The only time consuming part of that I would say is making sure that all the little die cut pieces, all those little teeny tiny holes, um, you know, I just I had to brush them out. <laughs> um, but I think that that really helped 
separate, you know, and make the birds pop forward and pop out. And then I just use, like I said, fibers, glittery ribbon, baker's twine. I just had fun decorating these little tags. And I hope that they will bring a smile to those children's faces, whoever receives them. They were a lot of fun to do. And if you guys get a chance, please go support Lydia and her first giveaway challenge. It's for a really wonderful cause. And, you know, that's what the holiday season is about, right? I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day. Thanks so much for watching.